What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be making the weirdest game on Roblox. Look, I've made some pretty weird games in the past, okay? <laughs> but um, this is gonna be even weirder, I guess. So I want this to be like a horror game, right? With like some weird monster chasing you. So I'm actually gonna take one of the models from my troll video and kind of remodel that. All right, we're gonna try this with a pathfinding AI. All right, so I'm actually gonna play the game here. And we're gonna see if this pathfinding AI is any good. You know, I probably should have put walls in here, but anyway, this looks good so far. Any errors in the output? Nope. That's a good sign. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna import a part, go this into a wall, and we're gonna test this guy out, see if he's any good in pathfinding. And I'm actually gonna import a dummy, but I still have my old habit of going to the toolbox and getting a dummy. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. We got the rig builder here. Okay, we're just gonna import. Let's do my avatar, I guess. All right, I'm gonna put this guy here. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, here we are. So this guy is gonna go around the wall here. It's going around. Okay, what if I put this guy? Okay, now he's going over here. Okay, he's going around the wall. Nice. Okay, now let me put him over here. Okay, he's going around the wall here. This AI is actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay. That's pretty good. So what happens if I increase his speed? Because I want him to be fast. I'm gonna say like 26. All right, now let's run it. Okay, we're running it now. And oh yeah, he's very fast. <laughs> he's very fast. Wow, that is okay. That I can imagine how scary that will be in game. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now we gotta actually model him into a monster because I don't want it to be the same model, bro. I mean, I know this is already scary, but Bruh. we're gonna have to make a different model. Okay, I'm gonna keep my player here for his player reference of the scale. All right, time to model this guy. Right, so I'm actually gonna rename him to monster and make his display distance none. Okay, here we go. Time to remodel him. I'm gonna make his color. I'm, I'm actually gonna get rid of his club. And I'm gonna color his whole body like this to gray, maybe. Nah, hold up. I gotta get something good here. Let me import a body color. Let's see if this is gonna do. Yeah, that is weird. That's kind of weird, though. But, I mean, it could work, you know? Okay, let me change the face color. Alright, now we gotta make him look like a monster. So I'm gonna move his head up here, like that. Right, I gotta move his body up now. There we go. I'm gonna move his arms down, actually. I'm gonna move his torso up. Move his legs up, too. Okay, time to scale this guy. We're gonna scale these legs up. Scale these arms up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now I gotta redefine his arms. Boom, boom. Scale this up a bit. Okay, gotta move his humanoid root part up. Just move it two studs up. Maybe three. I'm gonna make his feet really long. I'm just trying to make this as weird as possible. Yeah, that's good. Alright, now I gotta rig this guy and make sure I can animate him. So let me move these rigs up. Oh, it's already in place. Okay, I gotta move this up here. 0.25. That's good. Hmm. Boom, 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 and boom. Oh, wait. And bam, boom, done. There we go. Now let's see if we can animate him. So I'm gonna go into Moon Animator and New Animation. Here we go. Let's test it out. Yeah, I mean it's it's working. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, now we gotta make a running animation for him. So let's do that real quick. All right, let's test it out. What the hell? Okay, what is that, bro? All right, we're gonna try this. If this doesn't work. I'm just gonna do the default animation for running. So I'm gonna save this running animation, export rig, and save to Roblox. Here we go. Submit. All right, get the asset ID and paste it here. Boom, boom. All right. Now let's try it. So I'm going to put the backup in replicated storage. And I'm going to put this guy over here and the rig over here. Okay, now let's test run it. Here we are in the test run. And this guy is... Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, okay, that's... Why... Yeah, this is weird. I might have to move the humanoid root part. I think that was the problem. Okay, we're going to get the humanoid root part over here. Move it down. How much did I move it up? I think I moved it up three studs. So one, two, three. I think that's right. I'm not sure. We'll have to test it. Okay, we're test running it again, and we're gonna see if this guy's- Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's- Whoa. No, he's floating now. Okay, I, I moved it too down. Okay, gotta move it up now. Okay, now let's try it. Here we are, and yeah, that's, uh, that looks about right. Wait, no, it's- that's not right. He's still inside of the floor. So it was correct before, I just have to make sure the animation is on the floor. So let me edit- so I'm gonna have to edit the animation here. And at all times, he's- I'm just gonna lower him a little bit so he's right here. And yeah, that should be good now. So hold up, I wanna see what it looks like if I'm actually playing the game. So let me move the rig over here, and I'm gonna spawn right here, and we're gonna see what it looks like, guys. I don't know, I'm kinda scared, but, uh, we're gonna see. Okay, here I am. Um... Alright, right here. Go ahead. Alright, I guess the animation isn't working. Well yeah, he's just he's just floating toward me. Okay, that's pretty weird. I don't know why he's doing that. Okay, I think I know how to fix the issue on the animations on the client side. Okay, we're gonna have to export this again. Running animation, get the new asset ID, and paste it into walk. Okay, so theoretically this should work on the client side and the server side. So we're gonna test it out on the server actually. On the server, yeah, it's uh working perfectly fine. <laughs> 
Okay, now we got to test it on the client side. I'm gonna click play and we're gonna see, hopefully it works. So on client side, yeah, it's working. And okay, I wanna make them a little bit faster. So I'm actually gonna make a speed 32. Okay, now you know what I wanna do now? I wanna add a jump scare to him. So what I'm gonna do is steal from my old games. Yeah, I know, but like, come on, bro. If I've already scripted it once, then why do I have to script it again? You know, I can learn from it, you know, but like if I've already made it, why do I have to make it again, you know? Hopefully you guys understand. Okay, so first what I gotta do is import a remote event in replicated storage, name this jump scare. Okay, and here I've made a jump scare room, which will switch the camera to this room when you get jump scared, and then you will die. I mean, when you die, and then you'll get jump scared, yeah. Okay, now I need to script it so that when the monster touches you, and you die, then the jump scare event is fired. Okay, so apparently using this script in the starter GUI, this should theoretically work. First, I actually have to animate the jump scare, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, Okay, how should I do this? Man, this is gonna take a while. There we go. I think this is gonna be good. Alright, let's test it out. I mean, that is good enough, bro. Alright, jump scare anim. Export this. Save to Roblox. Copy the asset ID and paste it in here. Boom. And hold up, before I playtest it, I'm gonna find a jump scare sound effect. Alright, let's playtest it. Here we are inside the game. And now, if he jump scares me, hopefully this will- <laughs> What just happened? What just happened? Okay, he's going to the rig, so if I delete the rig, he should come to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I just got obliterated. All right, hold up. Let me move my character over here. There we go. Yeah, something's not right. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it works at first. If I respawn and he tries to get me again. Okay, I think I see the problem here. He's killing the rig and that's messing with his script. So I'm gonna get rid of the rig over here. And now I should play test over here, just in case. Okay, now... It should work now. So I'm gonna test it out here. He's gonna come over these walls soon. Yeah, he's knocking them over. <laughs> All right, here he is. Jump scares over there. Nice. If I respawn and he gets me again, there it is again. Yeah, well, it's broken now. <laughs> Great. I need to get away. Okay, I gotta get away now. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta add some like sound effects for him that play randomly. Kind of like ambient sound effects. So we're gonna do looped and playing. Find some sound effects. Maybe I should do some footsteps. All right, we're gonna see how this plays out. So I added some footstep sound effects to him. So we should hear him coming closer to us. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening? And then I wanna have like another sound effect, kind of an, another ambiance that's a larger radius. So you'll know when you're close to him, but when you're really close to him, the footsteps will play. Okay, I think I found one. Okay, here we go. Now let's test this out. But let's make the walls bigger. Okay, and spawn is gonna be over here. Now let's play test this. Okay, let's listen closely. Okay, you can't hear the ambiance, I guess. I don't know where he is. Okay, now you can hear it. But you can't hear the footsteps, so he's not close. So we're good. Like, we're good. I think I'm starting to hear something. Yeah, he doesn't see us. Yet. So here we go. I'm actually gonna go near him inside of the walls. I don't want him to get me immediately. So let's go closer. Okay, here we go. I don't know if he's getting closer or not. I don't even hear the full- oh, oh my god! Okay, that actually scared me. <laughs> okay, there he is over there. But yeah, that was unexpected. I did not see that coming. Okay, I want to see how far the distance is for the footsteps. <laughs> Dude, this game, it's like actually kind of scary. Okay, I gotta get away from him. He's at spawn, bro. Okay, that's like almost perfect. But I'm actually gonna change the uh, footsteps. I'm gonna make them farther so you can hear them from a bigger distance like a 50 instead and the ambiance i'm gonna i'm just gonna make the ambiance 250 actually i'll make it 200 okay so now that i've got my monster i don't know maybe i should make a map now so maybe i could take a map from the toolbox i don't know let's look up map see what we got here we look up horror map instead okay we got some of these we're gonna try this one first oh this is big oh so this is like kind of a uh abandoned place right i think this could work perfectly but i'm gonna look at the other maps first here's another one that's even bigger what is this yeah i don't even know what this is bro you know what maybe i could get an among us map because among us is kind of like a war game right i'm gonna have to look up among us map okay let's see what we got here among us map i forgot which one this was but i mean this could work and of course we've got scaled over here i think this one is pretty cool yeah i don't think that's gonna work you know what i think we'll just go with the original horror map that i picked yeah this one i think this one's good yeah i mean this is pretty cool. Why is there a FNAF post? All right, we're gonna have to get rid of that. All right, now we gotta get our monster. You know what? What should we name him? I think Gremlin is a good name. Gremlin, yeah. 
it suits him. All right, so we're gonna put him. I feel like we should put him here, like somewhere in the corner of the map. Okay, good. He can actually fit inside the map. That's good. All right, now we gotta get some spawn locations in here. All right, so let me put these inside the map. We're gonna have like three spawn locations. Uh, one in here, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna have the other one, like, over here, I guess. And then the third one we can have on this side of the map. We'll just have it right here. Well, you know what? We should have a fourth one, actually. I'm gonna put it over here somewhere. Yeah, this is good. There we go. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna have to try it. Okay, let me take the jump scare box. Let me move this up out of the way here. Probably do it over here, yeah. Okay, now I gotta change the lighting. Because there are some windows in here. I wanna make it so that when you look out, there's gonna be fog. So let's go to lighting, get rid of the atmosphere, and change the fog to, like, 250 yeah that's good make the fog black or is it like okay if the fog is like this yeah i think that's fine honestly that's fine okay now i gotta make the time of day zero that's good i'm actually gonna make the fog a bit darker i think yeah this is pretty good around here yeah and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a flashlight script from my old horror game and boom there we go so now we're gonna play test it and see how it looks all right let's just hope that he doesn't run into me immediately and that i can get away from him oh i also forgot to turn on lock player first person i'm gonna do that real quick all right here we go lock first person lock first person and play okay so i hope that i can get away from him in time but we're gonna have to see here okay so press f well, my flashlight isn't working. That's not good. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna hope I don't run into him. I don't know where he is, but I'm far enough away from him that I don't hear his sound. So I also could change his radius of detection. So if you're farther away from him, he'll detect you more instead of being closer to him. So I'm just gonna try and find him first or see if he can find me. Okay, I can hear him somewhere, but I don't know where he is. I'm like getting scared because I don't know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna go down here, I guess. Bro, I feel like I'm seeing things. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm getting scared of my own Roblox game. Okay, I've lost track of him. I don't know where he is. Is he moving around? I don't even know. Can I? Yeah, I can destroy this. Oh, it doesn't even work. Okay, this doesn't work. That's great. Whoever spawns in there will be trapped, I guess. Okay, now I gotta find this guy. Where is he? Is he- I think he's moving around somewhere. Okay, I think he's this way now. But where is he? Where is he? Bro, I'm getting scared. Oh, well, I found him. But I don't think he sees me. Oh, God. Oh, God, he sees me. Okay, okay, I gotta go. 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 This way, this way, this way. In this room, in this room. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay, okay, I'm stuck in this room now. I'm gonna go out this way and just run for it. Okay, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. No, gotta go, gotta go. Okay, this way, this way, this way. No, please, 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 please. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, that's not horrifying at all. You know what? He's kind of like, he's kind of hitting the top, I think, and he's kind of slowing down a little bit. So I'm gonna go to him. I think I'm gonna rescale him down by one like that i'm also going to change his ai so here is the search distance how far a player can be before it detects you so i'm actually going to change this to like let's say how far is the ambience i think it's 200 so i'll do 200 okay i think that's good and now i gotta fix the flashlight oh wait the flashlight actually does work i just gotta turn up my graphics oh god oh god oh god okay so i guess the rooms with doors in them you're safe in yeah i want to see how fast he is now because i did scale him down he should be faster now but where okay there he is oh oh my yeah yeah that's pretty scary okay but with the flashlight i think i could make the fog darker so we go to lighting where is lighting oh where is oh there it is okay i'm gonna make the fog a bit darker i think this is good yeah that's fine i'm just gonna make this grass out here and extend this farther there we go so now if you look outside one of the windows you'll just see grass pretty much you know i'm actually gonna add an easter egg but i think i'm gonna add my avatar here somewhere yeah in this window right here he's just gonna be peeking in here oh and actually i gotta make sure that he doesn't have a humanoid i don't know if he'll break if he doesn't have a humanoid though yeah he just turns into that okay i'm gonna rename him to pluto i don't know why he lost his shirt though i guess i'm gonna have to recolor it there we go perfect <laughs> I can anchor him, and there we go. Pluto is in the game. Mm, what else could I add? Oh, you know what I could add, actually? To kind of defend against this guy. I want to add, like, a tool that temporarily deletes him. So if someone's holding it, and he they go up to the gremlin, and the gremlin touches them, and the gremlin permanently, no, not permanently, temporarily goes to the replicated storage, and then he comes back, like, 10 seconds later, maybe. Okay, we gotta find a tool for that, though. The gremlin is actually lactose intolerant, so we're gonna get, like, a cheese tool. So first, we gotta get some cheese in here. Nice. And then, we gotta make this a tool. So this is cheese. I'm gonna name it handle. 
for the tool tool name this keys and boom i gotta edit the tool grip here we go there we go i think that's good okay now that we've got the cheese i'm gonna hide it somewhere on the map maybe it could like randomly spawn somewhere okay i think i know what i can do i'm gonna put the cheese in replicated storage then i'm gonna have a server script in the server script service it's gonna be called cheese drop so basically what we're gonna do is every minute or so one random player will get the keys in their inventory and then they can use that keys to temporarily disable the gremlin so here we go okay using this hopefully i should be able to get a random player in the server okay let's see if this works and just for testing purposes i'm gonna do wait five seconds oh there we go it works but i just got teleported for some reason maybe it's anchored i don't know okay but there we go so a random player was selected and they got the keys great now i want to have like a server message pop up too and i will also want to code the keys to actually work against the monster i mean the gremlin so anyway let me do 60 seconds here and for the keys i'm gonna unanchor it yeah i don't know why it's anchored bro make it can't collide off too okay i'm gonna test it one more time okay so in the game here I got the cheese and yeah it works perfect great okay cheese drop should be every like two minutes i think that's fair okay now inside of the gremlin i have to code it so that the cheese stops him so in replicated storage i'm going to add an event i'm going to name this cheese event okay inside of the gremlin let's code him real fast okay if p dot uh shoot if p has if p if has uh bruh oh it actually worked okay so and he's back but he's stuck inside of the floor yeah okay this is so broken okay now let's see if this is gonna work this is just trial and error so far but we're trying to get a product here okay so here he is close so that's good now i gotta get the cheese first okay put the cheese inside of my character okay he's right there yeah so theoretically if i go up to him he should be teleported out of here yeah, and then five seconds later, he's back. There he is. Yeah, it actually works. It's pretty crazy. Okay, make him get out of here. Nice. Now I have to run away. And now when he spawns back, he should notice me again, and he's coming toward me. Okay, nice. Now, I need to destroy the cheese. So that means cheese, destroy. And we're going to do 30 seconds. I actually want to have a sound effect play too. Okay, so now we need a script for the server alert local script inside of this one i have sound too this is going to be the yell paste in here so inside of the ai script again i'm going to go back here again and then rs.keys event fire all clients here's the keys event not keys and module okay now we need a pop-up so i'm going to make this real quick text label server alert 0.5.5 now we're going to one okay push out the middle yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the gremlin had an allergic reaction he will be back in 30 seconds okay, there we go visible off there we go done okay now let's test it out so for the cheese drop i'm gonna temporarily do it for five seconds actually no let's do like 30 seconds okay we're gonna test this out and see how it looks so after 30 seconds i should get a cheese or some other person should get a cheese if i'm play testing this in the server and then using the cheese oh where is he okay he's perfect i can wait for him right here okay gotta wait a few more okay there it is cheese here we go the gremlin had an allergic reaction he will be back in 30 seconds perfect that works perfect okay where is he actually he'll be back in 30 seconds all right he should be back anytime okay there he is there he is he's back Okay, what I want to do is I want to make it so that he only has his allergic reaction when the cheese is actually equipped. So I'm going to go back to his AI script. And over here, no, I mean over here, we got to get rid of this here. And now it's just this player.character has a cheese. So now it has to be equipped. So we're going to see if this works or not. I'm actually going to copy this just in case. Okay, now let's test this out. Cheese drop. Let's do 15 seconds. Okay, here we are. Now I got to find him very fast. Where is he? I can't hear him at all. Okay, well, I got the cheese, but I don't know where he is. Okay, I can hear him now. He's probably in the corner somewhere. Okay, so if I don't equip the cheese... Yeah, I die. Okay, great. Okay, great. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, um, this is weird. Okay, I'm back now. Okay, no, I'm not back. Where is he? I gotta find him again. Okay, there he is. I see him. So now if I have the cheese equipped, he should... There he is allergic reaction perfect okay now i gotta make the cheese drop every two minutes 
and then also inside of the AI script, I'm gonna make the sounds stop playing too, because they're pretty annoying. Okay, I got the keys. There he is. Here we go. And the sound has stopped. Okay, so when he respawns back, the sound should start playing again. We're gonna have to wait now. Any minute now. There he is. Get the keys out. He's gone. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now I just gotta adjust the keys drop to 120 seconds. So every two minutes, someone should get the keys and be able to kill the guy. I'm actually gonna change the player size to... Okay, here we go. Max players, 100. I think 100 is fine. All right, I think that's enough for today. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna play the game, the link is in the description. Also, watch this video, by the way. It's pretty sick. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.